Hello guys, welcome back. It's me, Karen, your favorite booktuber. And today we're here because it's an exciting time of the year. It is booker season and I'm reading the entire long list. The first book that I wanna talk about is Standing Heavy by Gauss, translated from French into English by Frank Wynne, who I believe was a former international booker judge. Now, this book, very short, is a political satire giving commentary on migrants, globalization, colonization, but with a very specific lens. We're looking at security guards in France and we're following about two to three men. We have, we have our first guy, Ferdinand, who comes to Paris in the 1960s. Then we jump forward to the 1990s where we have Osiri and Kossum who are two young guys who become friends with each other. And then we flash forward to the 2010s and we're tracing their time in Paris. Interjecting those narrative moments are these pithy uh, observations from a security guard observing primarily women shopping. The observations really detracted from the novel for me. Maybe in French they read a lot funnier, more clever, but in English, they didn't really feel that novel or funny. That could also be because I have spent, not gonna lie, I've spent a lot of time at the mall. I spent a lot of time in Sephora and this novel does follow a security guard in Sephora because our author previously been a security guard in Sephora. And so some of the observations that are made just to me, a young person in 2023, who has just spent a lot of time in shopping centers, uh, working in fashion, and I don't know, these, this just didn't hit for me. Those moments really detracted. Um, for example, there's this, there's, there's a few things that I could point out, but one of them is the security guard earlier in the scene, not at Sephora, is talking about how now, you know, girls go to the stores, they try clothes on, and they take photos with their phones, and how, you know, cell phones, pixels have replaced the retina, and. I don't know, I just like didn't find that funny or interesting. It was like, who cares? What's, what's wrong with that? You know, like what does it matter? However, if you take out those moments, and unfortunately that would probably be about half the book, um, the moments where we're actually rooted in narrative where we are following Osiri and his journey and how difficult it, it is to find a job and how when you're working these very boring jobs where you have to just stand, hence the title, Standing Heavy, um, you know, it's, it's not stimulating, it's not interesting. You either have to have, as is pointed out in the novel, a really active inner life or the ability to just turn things off, not think about anything. If we had had more time spent with Osiri and seeing him, you know, working his jobs, but also exploring the city because as um, his friend Kosum finds out, like, Osiri, is actually traveling in the city and experiencing a world different than the one he was brought up in. He's not just being a migrant, he is traveling. I would have loved to have seen more of that. I would say as a whole, I, I don't really think that this, this book is gonna get shortlisted. I don't think it's gonna be for many people, but it is a very quick little weekend read. Yeah, okay, this is a very quick video, but these are my thoughts on Standing Heavy. Would love to know if you read it, if you're gonna read it, what your thoughts are. Happy to have a longer conversation in the comments and thank you guys for watching.